Here is the long and short stitch. I'm starting with one long stitch on the edge because I want to keep my rectangle really straight and square on the edges. But you're going to do a series of long and short stitches. They can be any length. You're just going to switch back and forth. Long, short, long, short. You're going to go to the other side and match up your ends. Go down through the holes that are already there. If there's any gaps in between, you can always go back and fill in, but you're really just coloring in the shape. And it doesn't have to be super even. It doesn't really have a specific method. I don't like it as much for a rectangle shape or a square shape because I would just normally use a satin stitch for that. But for a heart or a large object that doesn't have 90 degree angles, you may not want to use the satin stitch because you don't want your stitches to be super long with the satin stitch. So this is a nice way to color in objects that are kind of uneven. I've used this for mushrooms before. Um, it worked really well to color in mushrooms and I could kind of angle the stitches to match um, the, what a mushroom stock would look like. Um, it really is more of a coloring in stitch and it doesn't have to be super specific you can really make it however you want but it's really nice for filling it in when you have an abnormally shaped object the satin stitch is a little tricky to get super specific when you have something like this and this gives you a little bit different texture so we'll compare it here to the satin stitch and you can see the difference in a minute but if you want something that's more of a textured than a smooth look, the long and short is what you want. You can see the difference there.